All right, we're taking a look at two different common braids that you see guys use when they're talking about maybe a bug out bag or a uh, survival type of thing. And that's your square braid, which everybody's seen for a long time. And then there's a round version of it. And I sort of started one off here just to uh, demonstrate some of the things I'm going to be talking about uh, instead of having to tie and untie one of these. So I'm not trying to do a how-to video, but I just figured I'd show that the way this works is um, it's a braid, basically, and you uh, go through. It's kind of a no-brainer. This is something anybody could do. A uh, kid could do it. In fact, I learned it when I was a little kid at scout camp. And you just sort of keep doing this tie over and over and over, and it eventually creates a giant long braid depending on what you, how long the cords are that you start with. And that's what I was going to mention. Compared to the new one that I've found and uh, really became fond of, and that's this rattlesnake tail or rattlesnake knot. And again, you can see that uh, a couple of different ways to tie it. I was going to demo it here. Um, you can tie it sort of loose. This first one I ever tied is fairly loose. And you can see there's you know plenty of room between the loops. And then this, these, these, these are both made out of the same piece of cord, and they both have the same number of wraps. It's just that this one I tightened, and uh, some of the same technique that I used to tighten it, in my opinion, makes this a really useful knot for your survival 550, just handyman type of stuff. So I'm gonna, I made this one specifically to to take apart, and again, I didn't feel like putting together one of the square braids because it just takes forever. I didn't want to, well, it takes a long time compared to how long it takes to tie one of these. Now, I will say that there's some advantages. Well, I'm not going to give them advantages to the square braid, but I'll say there are a couple of disadvantages, and the only real disadvantage that I see is that this one was the first one I made, and I just started with a length of cord. Um, to make it much longer than this, um, well, I would say if you make it too long, yeah, I don't think you could make one this long, let's say. It would just be too much stuff to be passing through at the beginning, where this one, I guess, was a little easier to make super long. But, big deal. I don't think very many people are making these things super long. Um, but when we get down to using it as a method of looping up or carrying more cord than you would if you were to just carry a you know, loose cord you know, wrapped up, you can always do that, I'm sure, but this you know makes it a little easier if you have it on a key ring or something. So getting to it, this one, let's just use this one first off as an example. And I should have the tape measure here. So we're starting out with, honestly, I don't have, I probably should have tied this all the way, but you know, I'm guessing just from doing these in the past, we're probably talking about a fob that's going to be maybe about this long, but I don't want to assume anything. So what we're going to see here is, um, well, I guess I'll sacrifice some 550 for an experiment here. Let's assume that this much... Well, let's just literally tie it off here. Let's assume we did something creative at the end, and it used that much 550. I'm cheap, so I hate to cut through it like this, but for the, for the sake of the video, I'll kill this 550. So let's say that this was some sort of decorative thing on one of the ends, and that's how much rope we would have used. So what we're dealing with here is about uh, two inches of braid, let's say, to be a little generous. Where with this one, we're looking at three inches of braid. But here's the trick. And this is why I believe that this rattlesnake knot is going to be my new knot compared to this squared braid. Um, let's take the square braid apart. We're in a survival situation. We've got this little key fob. We decide we either need the guts of this or we need the, the cord itself. So we start on tying. And depending on how loose or how tight we've got it tied. This one is actually fairly flexible. It's just that when they're new, you know, when they're short, they don't have a lot of room to wiggle. But um, depending on how long it's been tied, how tight it was tied, I'm just popping this one apart compared to how long it would take if these things were really tight on each other. If this was gutted 550, good luck. You'd be, you'd really need an awl or a pair of vice grips or something to get bites on these little knots if they got really tight. 
and compressed. Now I'm whipping through it fairly fast here. Again, it's newly tied and almost fallen apart in my hands, but it's taken a little time here. And get a little more sample of what it's like when you get to these last ones that are tied pretty tight. Now when we're all done and said, we started with two inches of braid and a little bit of extra, maybe another inch or so extra for the knot or for the termination point. And then what we end up with is two because of the style of that type of knot. The um, It uses two lengths of 550 and we've got two lengths that are of equal this length and they are 23 inches. So for two inches of braid approximately, and I'll have to take on one of my longer ones apart and do an more accurate, we're looking at about 23 inches of, of cord. But this is one of the things I'm going to like about this um, rattlesnake. Now let's say that for the sake of argument this was some sort of terminated on a key ring or whatever. Um, So I'm going to use my teeth there to take that first knot out. Now watch how, well first off I should measure it again. And we're definitely dealing with just about three inches of braid. I should have timed these. So now I'm going to try to take this one apart. There's three inches. That one took, well I'll see if I can't time it on the video. A certain amount of time. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this. And the only reason it's sticking is because of the way I melted the end here. And now I'm going to go to this end. Just get it started with my teeth. And then I'm going to pull this through. Right? And then lastly, I'm going to pull it back through again. And I think you can see where we're going here. We just pulled the three lengths out. So, obviously, boom, it's, it's ready to go. Sure, it was kinked. But in a moment, you know, and I took a little time there, farting around, but that took no time. I'm left with one piece of rope. And let's see what kind of ratio we have. So we're three inches to... Three inches to 47 inches about. And I am too old and dumb to do the math in my head, so I'll do the math and make it flash on the screen here. But um, to me, this rattlesnake knot looks cooler. I mean, that looks like a cool little rattlesnake tail. Um, the termination on the one end is always very nice. Although, I will give it to the uh, square braid that it also has a nice termination end. You could just as easily put a key ring or something on this one as I do on this one. Um, its other end termination, I've been playing with it. I'm still new to the knot, but I've come up with you know multiple ways of terminating it here so um, I'm a big fan of it. I, I think that it's going to come apart and be a more useful uh, piece of uh, rope for you as opposed to the two pieces that take forever. Again if I was going to try to untie this it would take like a week so um, both of them are just as kinky you know the, the tied knot is going to kink the rope as much on both of them I think if anything this one might actually be a little less because there's probably fewer kinks because there's only three sides as opposed to the four sides here. I don't know if that makes good sense with math or not, but to me it looks like this is my new favorite uh, type of uh, tie for making key fobs and zipper pulls and whatnot. Thanks again to tying it all together for bringing this knot to my attention. The channel that we're doing this video about, which is tying it all together, and you know the good stuff. So again, this is good stuff. Um, found the channel, and right off the bat, he's got this rattlesnake fob, uh, you know, for like a, key, a knife or a key ring or whatever, and uh, sounded interesting to me.